also known as a sweet sop or custard apple. It's related closely to the cherimoya and the guanabana or uh, sour sop. All three of those fruits are uh, different types of anonas. Anona fruits are um, similar in the sense they all have like these scales on the outside. And if you open it up, it's it's white and creamy on the inside. Um, this is, however, the most widely cultivated of all the Anona fruits, um, but oddly enough, I don't see this very often. I probably haven't, I haven't seen this in, um, in probably like two or three years. Every now and then it'll, it'll pop up in Chinatown for like eight dollars a pound. Uh, I bought like three of these about this size in Chinatown for about eight bucks. Um, so it's, it's pretty rare here. As you can see on the uh, on the outside here, there's these very like bumpy little scales here, and unlike the um, soursop and cherimoya, which are actually like more flat with little bumps on it, this is just like these little segments, and they actually um, will peel like, right off just like that, and you can kind of tell that these are are ripe when they they yield gently to pressure. And these little scales come off with just like a little bit of a flick. Like it doesn't take too much pressure to get it off. Um, it also will turn a little bit brown on the outside. Because of the scales on the outside, in Thailand these are called noina, which is the, uh, the Thai word for grenade. They are often referred to as custard apples, but so are cherimoyas, which is a little confusing. But they are quite similar in taste um, to cherimoya, at least from from what I've, I've heard. Also, if you cross the cherimoya with the, um, the sugar apple, you get another fruit called an atomoya, which I was lucky to have in China, uh, which tasted similar to the, um, to the cherimoya, but uh, maybe like a little bit sweeter and crunchier. The seeds of the sugar apple are actually used as an insecticide. Specifically, they're good at uh, repelling lice. And um, in India, they use the, uh, the seeds, they grind them up, and they use them as a, like a hair tonic to, uh, to prevent lice. And in Mexico, the leaves are actually used in like chicken coops. They take the, uh, the leaves and they rub them all over the place to also keep lice away from, um, from their stock. All right, so I'm going to cut open this thing and see what it looks like. As you can see here, the, the seeds actually are all segmented like that. They come right out. That's unique to the um, to this fruit. Other Anona fruits don't do that. It's also like quite soft. It just comes apart just like that. It's got a lot of seeds in it. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to like take a mouthful of seeds and just like suck the fruit off. Kind of hard to eat. <laughs> Not very attractive food to eat. It's so full of seeds right now that I can hardly like really try the fruit. It tastes similar to the cherimoya, um, except like. I don't know, like maybe it's just because I'm seeing all these little seeds or something, but it almost has like a watermelon kind of undertone to it. Um, but similar to the cherimoya, it's got a very custardy, creamy taste to it with a lot of like different um, tropical kind of flavors to it, like a hint of pineapple, a hint of banana, um, a little bit of like a tutti frutti, bubblegummy kind of taste. Um, it's it's good, like the flavor is really excellent, but um, I don't know how practical of a fruit this is. I mean, you'd have to like eat this thing with a spittoon because of all the seeds that are coming out of it. So I'm gonna try another mouthful here. If I had to compare this to the soursop and the cherimoya, I would say like this is, it's good, but I wouldn't 
take it above the other ones. I'm not sure why this is the most um, widely cultivated out of all those Anona fruits because it's it's hard to eat. Like I don't know. Like maybe people make a something else out of it, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But it's just like mouthful of seeds, mouthful of seeds, and it's kind of a little annoying. The Atamoya tastes similar to this, at least as far as I remember it does, except it's not just so like chock full of seeds the way that this one is. So I would go for that one. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to say about this. It's it's good, it's a tasty fruit, but if I had to um, pick a favorite Anona fruit, this wouldn't be it. I'd still stick with a Cherimoya, uh, then maybe an Antimoya, and then like a Soursop after that. This is it's good, but it's, it's inconvenient to eat, so... I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't judge it so high. I just want to point out that uh, I bought these, I bought three of these fruits for about $8. It was $8 for three of them. So that's what, like, um, like $2.60 each. About $1 of that fruit is going to the skin. And the other dollar is going to the seeds. I mean, look at all of those seeds. I'm going to count them. One, two, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five. Seventy-five seeds. I had to count them because I've got nothing better to do with my time, but still, seventy-five seeds inside this tiny little thing, this tiny little fruit you get 75 seeds and skin. So you are just buying like a whole bunch of crap and getting like a little bit of pulp to suck on, but I say yeah, if um, you see one of these fruits and you um, you know, you haven't tried cherimoya before, I, I would definitely try it, sure, but if you can get a cherimoya, don't bother because you're buying a whole lot of crap right there. Alright, so that's all I'm going to say right now. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!